Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over this grasshopper script um, which will allow you to create a uh, column, a decorative column with uh, all the different parameters that you can kind of mess around with. Okay, I made sure to take all those objects and I grouped them and I made, I unpreviewed it, that way when I go here and I bake it, um, it'll bake it, but I won't. It, there will be redundant uh, solids in the script. So I use this to hide it, and then let me show you what it looks like. So this is what we're working with. Uh, we're going to be able to adjust the different heights and things. So that's kind of what we're working towards. Okay, let me delete it and show you the script. So here we have the script for the column, and I made sure to organize it. The only things that you'll be able to adjust are these large paneled um, labels, and they're labeled here. I try to make them as organized as I could, so um, whenever you open this, you can kind of start pushing and pulling. Of course, if you go a little too far with some numbers, there's going to be some errors, so just make sure you adjust these accordingly and and so it doesn't cause any errors so let's let me show you here how I created it uh, we have the base for this we can make we can adjust the X and the Y we can make it very wide we can make it make it more narrow so let's just make it a 48 inch and 24 inch wide so it's a 2 to 1 form factor there and then this is the base offset so it's the offset for the base here we can adjust that to 3 it, it, all it all depends on what you want so it'll take that base and offset it and here we have the height for this base here so we can adjust that make it taller or shallower depending on what you need From there, it's basically a rectangle that's offset. And um, here, as you can see here, we went in the vertical direction. We moved that rectangle and then we extruded it to create the base height. So that's the height here. We have the, we can make it, you know, tall or short, all depending on what you want. So let's keep that at 36 inches. And from that box here, I basically had to deconstruct it and start creating the geometry that's going to start notching out the inside. And so that's what you see here. It's items and um, that were extracted from edges, basically midpoints, to create the the reflection plane. And then it's then differenced from the original box which is here and so that creates this this box here and so some of the parameters there are going to be the notch the notch here it's going to be you know we can offset we can say how thick it is or how you know we can adjust that and we can also adjust the distance so if we wanted to make it, you know, like a smaller box, see, we'll, we will get errors because we're offsetting more than we can here. So just make sure you, um, you, you see that. Okay, let's see here. Let's move, on. let's move along. So once we had that, then I created a center point here where a column was extruded. And so that's what we have in this portion here. We selected the midpoint, and from there, that curve is extract. It's extruded in the vertical direction with a height of 80 inches. So this is the height of the column, the actual round part of the column. So from here, we'll just say 60 inches, make it five feet for this section, and then here we can adjust the radius. So of course, this one you want to make sure that you don't offset too far so let's go here to 10 let's make it a little back to 8 and 
so that gives us those. This will give you the height, and this this will give you the radius. And so if we move here, this is going to start adjusting these round details here. So depending on how thick you want them, maybe that I think that's for down here. Yeah, you saw that adjust that this one down here. That's the bottom one, and then there's other ones we could adjust, which is the you know the the top one, and then the top one creates the the cap, and then this one will adjust that bottom one, which we can make it bigger or smaller. I kind of like it smaller there, and then the the thickness here at the bottom. We have it here at the bottom with the detail thickness here and so we can say you know two inches we can zoom in here you can see everything is pretty clean and eventually we get to the top part here yeah where we cap it off and it's extruded cap is here so we can say okay the cap we want it to be you know bigger or we want it to be smaller all it all depends on what you want so that's this are the this are all the par parameters that we have here, and uh, yeah, at the end you can come here to group, push the uh, space bar, and then hit bake, and you'll see that we have a clean clean column that could be adjusted. And there's that. There's this. It's clean. It's it's pretty indifferent too. So it's not, there's no overlapping surfaces. That one's different from that one. That one's different from this this one and this one. So yeah, um, this is the tutorial for the Grasshopper uh, script that has a column that's able to be adjusted with variable heights, all depending on what what type what width and, and what design you have so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other ideas for videos thank you very much for watching